In China, once in a decade, power reshuffle started on Thursday. Our Taeyu-san is following the story. Signaling the first power change in China in a decade, the Communist Party opened its 18th National Congress on Thursday. In his progress report on the opening day, President Hu Jintao laid out the achievements under his 10-year leadership, including China's rapid growth and the democratization process within the party. The outgoing leader also stressed that balanced and sustainable economic development must continue, that political and social corruption needs to be rooted out, and that improving the standard of living should be a priority. We should double our 2010 GDP and per capita income for both urban and rural residents by the year 2020. Alongside his predecessor's theories, President Hu said his scientific development theory, incorporating sustainable development, social welfare and increased democracy, should be followed by the Communist Party. This signals that the current leader's theory will be added to the newly revised party constitution. Current Vice President Xi Jinping officially takes over leadership next Thursday. Named the General Secretary of the Communist Party, Xi will be joined by Vice Premier Li Keqiang, who will succeed Premier Wen Jiabao. But the incoming leader will have to wait until the National People's Congress next March before taking office. Analysts in Seoul say Xi will not likely introduce drastic changes to the ruling Communist Party's domestic and international policies. If there were to be a change, it would depend on how the new South Korean government unfolds its policies towards China and North Korea. In the meantime, the incoming governments in Seoul and Beijing are expected to boost economic relations by pushing to strike the free trade deal currently under negotiation. This, experts say, could pave the way for the two sides to better cooperate on North Korea and other security issues. Choi Yu-san, Arirang News.